The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, River State, South South Nigeria, has maintained that elections held in all the local government areas of the state. The statement was made in reaction to the spate of violence that followed Saturday and Sunday elections. Protesters stormed the INEC office saying that they were disenfranchised as no voting took place in the state. <laughs> The state governor, Rotimi Amechi, complained of not citing election result sheets at his polling units when he went for accreditation and stormed out of the polling units complaining of being disenfranchised. Amechi's action has triggered reactions even from eminent Nigerians. For the reverse issue, it, 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 it appears to be a deliberate plan to disrupt the election in the state before he defected to a political from one party to the other so he wouldn't have they wouldn't have been at one political part, uh, polling unit to you know to do but again they said he was requesting for result sheet and all those things which the lawyer has said no it was legally wrong um he wouldn't have done that so he overreacted because like i said there were also similar problems in other areas v ballot papers in Lagos, it came uh, to uh, it arrived on sentence at about 6 p.m. And voting was delayed until 9.30, 10, um, 10 p.m. in the night. Uh, there again, INEC also failed because there was no provision for lightning. Well, I, I think uh, what is playing out in River State is, uh, is uh, a clash of political interests. I believe first and foremost that it does not lie within the powers of the governor of that state to go to INEC and start asking about sensitive documents. There is no constitutional provision that the INEC people should show him or prove to him that they have that in their custody. Because what played out in River State it also happened in some parts of Lagos. And the officials used their personal initiative to overcome that problem. So but what happened in River State is that the governor and probably some of his supporters never gave INEC an opportunity to rectify that. I think the governor deliberately and personally disenfranchised himself and some of his supporters. Was Governor Rotimi Amechi legally and morally justified in demanding sensitive election materials? Was he really disenfranchised or did he disenfranchise himself? Nigerian youths are admonished to stay calm and not allow themselves to be used for acts of violence. Itohan Olomo Agbodo reporting.